My name is Rita Kering Chibat. Welcome on board. President William Ruto has expressed concern about the integrity and professionalism of Kenya Forest Service officers, emphasizing the importance of a thorough cleanup to remove corrupt, incompetent, and complicit officers. The head of state was speaking on Wednesday when he presided over the passing out parade of 2,664 newly recruited Forest Rangers in Gilgil. Bashebe Jr. brings us the full story. President William Ruto on Wednesday ordered the dismissal and prosecution of 23 Kenya Forest Service employees involved in corrupt dealings with the country's forest resources. The employees include six forest managers and 23 rangers. Dr. Ruto said his government would not tolerate graft in the forest and water sectors which have seen the destruction of such resources. Umepatikana wale wafanyikazi wa KFS walio zembea kazini walio eh, wafisadi na walio shugulika na kusaidia kuharibika kwa misitu ya taifa letu la Kenya. Na nimeamurisha bodi ya KFS hawa wote waliopatikana aidha wakizembea ama wakijihusisha na ufisadi ama wakichangia kuharibika kwa mizitu yetu wote waondolewe kazini na wapelekwe kotini. Wamepatikana tayari forest managers and forest rangers 23 President William Ruto went on to say that from Thursday he did not want them on government payroll as they were saboteurs encouraging destruction of Kenya's environment those who have been found either compromised incompetent or engaged in corruption in this space that has led to the destruction of our forest assets. I have instructed the board to remove them from being officers of government and workers of government and as the DCI is concluding investigations to make sure that these people are prosecuted. The president said his government will take all measures to protect the forests and ensure that officers with integrity continue to serve. He was speaking in Gilgil during the passing out parade of 2,664 rangers. This is the largest pass out parade in history of the Kenya Forest Service and the new rangers are expected to strengthen the government's efforts in forest conservation, protection and management. Shakila moja, kwenda katika maeneo yake ya kazi wapo imara jamani tuwape makofi asante sana asante sana na kwatu la kunyamaha wana karate mwishimuwa rice mbele ya jukua ili kuanza mwonyeshu ya urasmi mwishimuwa rice wa mchini ya sergeant paul wamalua wabomba amba ya mbebobea katika mwonyeshu haya KFS has in the past complained of an acute shortage of rangers to protect the country's forests and water towers. The graduating recruits have undergone six months of paramilitary training in forest law enforcement approaches. The training included a month of tactical training in harsh and rugged terrain similar to the forest environment in which they will be expected to operate. Mwishimu wa rais ya kupanda miche bilioni kuminatano ifikapo 2032. Toomba, tukasimamo na popita kwa heshima huku wa mebeba miche ya kupanda. Tuwape makofi vijana hawa. This is designed to test them in the endurance, combat and bushcraft skills they will be expected to use in the line of duty. Previous pass out parades have been held at the KFS training college in Londiani in Kericho County. 
The KFS is expected to play a key role in the government's plan to plant 15 billion trees by 2032 to combat the effects of climate change. KFS recently appealed to the National Assembly's Committee on Environment, Forestry and Mining to increase its budget allocation. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, Ambusha Bijunia. Okay.